the Korean automaker that's also a robotics and mobility company can always be counted on to bring the weirdest forms of future transport to CES. And this year is no exception. Today we meet the plug and drive and plug and lift modular mobility concepts. Now, most of Hyundai's new mobility concepts are built around the plug and drive or PND module. Sort of an autonomous one wheel that you can steer 360 degrees, features integrated motors and brakes, and basically carries things around for you. In the presentation, we see one delivering an umbrella stand to an elderly person who retrieves a cane, but things get interesting when multiple PND modules are connected to carry larger loads, like a roving kiosk that delivers your dry cleaning or packages. There's even a spot robo dog on board in one example that can presumably carry those packages the last yards. You know, those places PND can't go, like upstairs. But this is Roadshow, and you're looking for something that you can drive. The individualized mobility cabin is that, sort of. The single seat pod is intended to help people of limited mobility, like the elderly or differently abled, get around. Now being based on the autonomous PNDs, the mobility pod should also be capable of autonomous operations. But I spy a little control joystick in there that could potentially give passengers control. Now we see these mobility pods docking with the building's elevator system, rolling around town alongside pedestrians, and being loaded into larger mother shuttles that allow multiple pods to be moved for longer distances at higher speeds. Sort of like a bus, but smaller, and your co-passengers can't breathe on you. In the concept, each mother shuttle appears to hold eight pods and features LED displays at either end, possibly with route information and what looks like an array of solar panels on the roof, probably not enough to charge the thing, but enough to keep the batteries topped off. Now the mother shuttles are also, you guessed it, autonomous. There's no driver compartment and they roll on four PND modules. So these appear to be larger than the ones on the individual mobility pods. Take the mother shuttle platform and plop a rolling ER on top and you have the hospital mobility concept a hospital or trauma center on wheels that can be deployed to the site of large emergencies like earthquakes or fires. Here, it's deployed alongside Hyundai's SA1 Urban Air Mobility Taxi, which debuted at CES 2020. Here, it's repurposed as an aerial emergency response vehicle. Now, for really big emergencies, multiple hospital mobility pods can be connected to form a larger hospital pavilion once on site, and that'll allow them to serve a larger number of patients. Now those PND modules also form the backbone of the L7 concept, another electric micromobility platform with individual steering airless wheels that can pull off neat tricks like zero radius tank turns. L7 is all about scalability with a Lego-like modular platform that can be configured to accommodate a single passenger or reconfigured to deliver packages or equipment. Now finally, let's step away from the PND ecosystem for a while and have a look at the drive and lift module or DNL. Now, like PND, DNL integrates the drive, steering, and braking systems into a single module, but DNL also includes an extra axis of articulation that allows it to lift each wheel independently. This allows for neat tricks like leaning into corners to stabilize loads during high speed turns or keeping a load perfectly level over uneven terrain, steps, or speed bumps. Hyundai says that it's looking at manned and unmanned applications for DNL. Personally, I'd love to see an electric sports car that can carve and lean into corners like a motorbike. But the first application they've built is MobEd, or MobeD. I'm not sure which one it is. A 60 by 67 centimeter wide little guide bot built around a two kilowatt hour battery with a screen on an arm that can serve as a tour guide or a telepresence bot. Nice to meet you, Ed. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Like most of the tech world, Hyundai's getting real weird in the metaverse, and it's bringing its robotic flair along for the ride. You can find more info about that over on the main CNET channel. But before you go, make sure you're subscribed here on The Roadshow, where we'll be bringing you all of the latest automotive and mobility news coming out of CES 2022 and beyond.